Hey guys, Pete Lodge Copper Instructors. Uh, video time. Uh, as you see, I am not wearing my Brian Strong shirt or I'm not wearing my um, Large Copper Instructor shirt because I'm going to be crawling around and rolling around on the floor here in a few minutes. Um, and I'm going to be cleaning a rack or two today, um, depending on how long it takes me to do the first one. Uh, it's been a minute since the racks themselves, not the tubs, but the racks themselves have had a good thorough cleaning. Um, I haven't, it's probably been a couple months since I've actually got in there and wiped down the, the, the rack and cleaned it real well. So I will do the, I have to get on the floor to clean the very bottom level of the rack. So I'm going to be rolling around on the floor. I don't want to get my uh, other shirts and get them damaged up. So I'm going to wear this one and do what I got to do. This used to have snakes on it, but you know, after one wash and then a few more washes after that they all eventually just came off so it is a snake shirt I swear <coughs> so I'm gonna find my little tripod it's in my bag there um, and we're gonna get you guys on that we're gonna start cleaning uh, I will have my music playing in the background but I'm gonna mute this and add a soundtrack to it so you guys have something to listen to and uh, I'll try not to make this an hour long video too so alright guys I'll stay tuned. Oh, real quick, um, my cleaner is uh, chlorhexidine. It is a good disinfectant and it's a good cleaner. Um, I'm going to spray the entire rack down. I'll wash it down with this stuff and uh, give it a good scrubbing. I've got plenty of paper towels up here to use. Um, this stuff is re really cheap. I get it from a tractor supply store here in, in, in town. And uh, I think this cost me six or seven bucks for a big jug like this and uh, I'll mix one to two capfuls in this spray bottle this is a 24 ounce spray bottle to this line here um, if you fill it up a little more of course it's gonna be a little more than 24 ounces um, but to, uh, if you fill it to the line 24 ounce and um, 700 mil milliliters is that what that is yeah 700 milliliters and uh, so this actually says it's a 32 ounce spray bottle, but I always, I'll always fill it to right about the 24 ounce right there and just go from there. Um, this one I think is only one cap full. So it's kind of off colored. You can kind of see it's kind of a greenish color. It's actually bluish color because the chlorhexidine is blue. But um, so this stuff works really well to treat wounds also because it is a disinfectant. So if anything, if the tubs are really bad, I'll spray them down. Then I'll wash them with some Dawn dish soap and water, just some, any dish soap and water. It just happens we have Dawn. Um, Dawn's real good. Um, we'll do that and then I will uh, spray it down with the uh, chlorhexidine and just give it a light spray and just leave it in there as a disinfectant. Um, it doesn't hurt anything at all. As long as you're not spraying your snake in the face. Don't spray anything in your snake's face. Um, so, uh, so yeah, even uh, my snakes have a uh, scratch or uh, they get nipped by a, a rat, I will e use this stuff to spray it down and disinfect the area. It is good for treating wounds. So, that being said, I'm going to get into this. I'll try not to have this an hour long video. Um, if it gets too long, I will speed the clips up and there will be music. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoy that. And I haven't done that in a long time done a time-lapse video and uh, ever since I got my new editing software it's DaVinci 18 I think I think it's DaVinci 18 now with the updates and stuff that I'm using um, it does a way more stuff than my last editing software so I haven't even learned all of it yet so I play with it every once in a while and this is one of those times I'm gonna play with it so this video will be pretty cool I hope hopefully you'll enjoy it so I'm gonna go ahead and get going on this rack um, it is a Vivarium Electronics VE6E. All the kids that are in the rack right now, minus Discord, because Discord's over with Aphrodite right now, will be getting soaked uh, in some tubs during the time I'm doing this. So they'll be just fine. Um, they'll be uh, having a, a spa day, I guess you could say. So let's get into this, all right?
All right, guys. So here we are. Uh, it's been completely wiped down, uh, completely cleaned. I've got a pile of dirty, dirty paper towels on the floor. Um, so um, we're gonna go ahead and um, get our tubs, which are all stacked up right there, ready to go and put back in um, to the um, rack. And uh, yeah, that one's done. So I may just do this one today. Um, because these two were cleaned oh a couple weeks back I uh, cleaned them I didn't film that one but um I thought today would be a good video to show how I clean my racks um yes the plastic racks are a bit harder to clean than the steel racks are because the steel racks I've never had the steel racks but I think you can take them apart or pull pieces off and get access to the underneath of the top the lid and everything I think the um, freedom breeder racks are like that but we don't have any of those uh, here, so we do it this way, or I do it this way. Um, get down on my hands and knees and get dirty. Get down and dirty with it. But um, it has to be done, so um, like I said, try and do this once every month, month and a half. Um, this one, it's been a couple months for this one, but um, I try and do it when I clean my tubs. So I'll try and do the rack. Clean the rack when I clean the tubs out and put new rubber chip in the tubs. And uh <clears throat> but yeah. I did not do that this last time, so it's it's a little past due. But it's done now. So we're gonna keep moving along and get everybody back in their tubs then. Stay tuned. guys that entire rack is finished everybody had a little soak in the in their uh well in tubs and uh so they're all doing really well so they got uh prometheus got new digs so he got new tub size um it's another reason why i wanted to clean the, the rack out today and just go ahead and clean the entire thing um looking pretty pretty cool and shiny um so everybody should be good to go now for another couple months as far as the rack uh is the rack itself, not the tubs, the rack itself is being cleaned again. So, um, even after a couple of weeks, these guys get, get pretty pretty dirty. Um, at least this one's like two and a half weeks since I cleaned, and it, yeah, I could clean it again. So I'll probably do that in a week or so, clean everything else again, and then, yeah, go through. Even the rack I'm not using, this top one here is still... It looks like I've used it constantly for the last six months, but I haven't even used, haven't had a snake stay in there, those tubs at all. I've used the tubs for, um, you know, placing someone in there and then cleaning their tub and then pulling them right back out again. So this rack isn't even on. The, the heat tape's not even turned on. It's disabled. So, but yeah, it's, uh, it's the only rack that I've never actually had a, any snakes in that were in there for any length of period of time. But, yeah, it is what it is. So, um, like I said, uh, Prometheus got a new tub today. He went one size bigger. Um, so, he'll have a little bit more room now. He looked like he was a little cramped. He, he was perfectly fine. But, to me, he looked like he was a little cramped in the tub that he was in. So, had to turn the uh, fan on because it was getting a little bit warm in here. Um, this video is probably going to be... A long one. I'll edit it all together and see what I, how I feel about it, and uh, may do. Like I said, I don't know. If, yeah, this is what three minutes, two minutes, two minutes now. So yeah, I'll edit everything together and um, put in some music and see how I like it. Uh, if you guys see this video, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm gonna post it yet. 
Um, I'm back to being ahead on my videos again, which is what I need to be. That way we don't have any more hiccups like Saturday. I was running behind Saturday and that's why the videos were late. So, it is what it is. Um, but, the, the, the day the, the one video, the video processing was abandoned, kind of threw me off a little bit as far as my schedule goes. Because um, I had to redo everything. I didn't have to re-edit it all. I had to re-upload everything and start from scratch as far as putting it onto YouTube. Which kind of sucked. I don't know why that, I still don't know why that happened. But, yeah, whatever. So, got that all done. We have nine, I wanted to say nine of the ten hatchlings have now eaten. One did not. <clears throat> I have the, the rat pinkies right here. He did not eat it. That's in there overnight. So he's going to chill out for the rest of today. And then uh, tomorrow morning, I'll get up a little earlier and then run and grab a mouse hopper. <clears throat> and then come home and see if that will do the trick and spur him to start eating. If so, he'll get another, he'll get a mouse hopper you know, for a couple of weeks. And then I'll try tossing in a, um, another rat pinky or something just to see if he'll take off on the rats. But um, if all else fails, mouse hopper. That's usually the, the ticket. The golden nugget, the Willy Wonka chocolate. I don't know. Uh, I'm being stupid, so I'm going to get out of here, guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, as always, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Set it to all so you know when my videos pull, come up uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and fr uh, Saturday. I'm trying to think while I'm talking, which isn't good because I can't. Um, so, yeah. Um, this weekend. Yeah, it is this weekend. Wow. 27th, 28th. Real fast. Uh, Valparaiso Armory again. We're going to. Uh, we'll be there. I'll have a few snakes. <laughs> they, none of the hatchlings are not ready to go yet. I want them to eat at least five, six times and be close to about 100 grams. See, before I'll uh, even uh, think about taking them to the show to sell. Uh, eating on their own consistently at least four or five times. So far everybody's doing good except for the one. And that's the one from Ara uh, Arachne's clutch. The one egg we got. The other nine hatchlings from Artemis's Clutch have now all eaten one time. So, thumbs up on that. Um, hey guys, uh, check out TikTok, Instagram. Go check out my Morph Market page, Large Caliber Constrictors over on Morph Market. And Facebook, go check out Facebook too. I try, I'm behind, I need to, I'll upload a whole bunch of videos from YouTube and I'll share them over on Facebook here pretty soon. And uh, yeah, so alright guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, as always, stay safe. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye.